Glorious food, hot chocolate and custard. My name is David. I'm a freelance artist for the Baltic. I've been doing lots of work about food. We all need food. Food makes energy. I need food. I dream about chocolate. Cats need food. Artists need food. We all need food. Artists need food not only to eat, but also maybe to make some work. So you could look at an artist who exhibited at Baltic called Fabrice Hyber. He had an exhibition called Raw Materials. He used, used things like bananas vegetables, fruit, vegetables in, in his installation. It was a long time ago, an even longer time ago, there was a Japanese artist called Tatsumi Arimoto. He was a performance artist. And he tied bread to his face, which sounds a little mad, but it looked great. And he got other people to tie bread to their face with string, baguettes. And he led them across the Millennium Bridge. And this was at the time of the opening of the Baltic. You can see some videos of his work if you go to YouTube. If you just put in bread man walking, something will come up. I think it's quite funny. But what I'm talking about is drawing from food. So there were people that have always drawn from food from hundreds of years ago. There's something called, he's one of my favorites, Giuseppe Archibaldo. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there's his name, Giuseppe Archimboldo. There's food everywhere you look. Breakfast time, lunch time, dinner time. You can take photographs of it. People take photographs of their food a lot. They put them on your Instagram. I'm not actually sure why. But you also get in magazines lots of pictures of food. 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 food everywhere you look is food. Hello again. It's raining today, and that makes it a good day to make art. There's nothing else to do. I want to talk to you very quickly about materials. So the materials I use may not be exactly the same as yours, but I'm going to talk to you initially about what I do. And I draw on a very big piece of paper, A1, which is very big, maybe too big for you. And I like to draw it, I like to draw standing up. It gives me a nice, loose, physical feel. Half of A1 is A2, which is still quite big. Then half of A2 is A3. I think that can still work. Half of A3 is A2, which is a little, sorry, not A2, A4, which is a little bit small. So A3 might be okay for you. I use, I start with a light pencil to draw. That's a 2B pencil. You can be quite light with that, so you can change things if you have to. Then I go with a heavy pencil. It's actually Conte, which is a special dark pencil. It's one of my favorite pencils. But you could use a heavy pencil like a 6B or a 7B, which is this. Finally, you will add some color. It could be colored pencils, but I like to use these pastels. Yummy, yummy. I'm going to draw very quickly from that. Okay. Okay. 
And now I'm going to think. And now I'm going to use my heavy pencil and try and get the balance right to what I've done, which is just a quick sketch. Okay, it's taking shape as you may be able to see now. I'm using a stronger pencil. I've been drawing from this. Uh, but then I suddenly thought I quite like this, which is, is the remains of a tromboncino. It's an Italian vegetable that we grew on the allotment last year. I kept it, and I'm not sure why. It's gone kind of furry and mouldy, but I like it. Something's happening. I'm going to add a bit of colour, not too much. Work this in with my finger. Doesn't look much like food anymore, does it? On it goes. So I started with food, but it's now looking more like I don't know what. They call it semi-abstract. So in this case, it could turn into something else, but you will need to look at something at the beginning. I looked at something at the beginning. I looked at a picture of food. You can look at the picture of food, something you take yourself, or you could use actual food that you look at yourself. But where it goes, that's up to you. And these behind me are drawings that I did earlier. And they're all based on food. So I'd ask you to look at food, do some quick sketches, and then improvise. Improvise is a word for making things up, but making things up based on something that you're looking at. That's the trick. So you have to study first and then work. So there we have, I call that one. Oh, it can be hard work. I think I'll sleep.
hungry. I think I'll get something to eat.